this is the sagittal sectioning of the brain area and the brain stem and today we are going to focus on the structures which form the medial wall of the diencephalon area the diencephalon contains thalamus hypothalamus subthalamus and the area of epithalamus so let's have a look at these structures the first thing is this prominence which is produced by the thalamus the two thalami they are interconnected by the interthalamic connections or the adhesions thalamus forms the posterior boundary of the interventricular foramen and the roof of the thalamus or the superior wall is in relationship with the tela choroidea of the third ventricle which forms choroid plexus moving antero medial antero inferiorly the thalamus is separated from hypothalamus by this sulcus which is the hypothalamic sulcus this is the area of the hypothalamus the structures which are in relation with the hypothalamus include optic chiasma lamina terminalis and anterior commissure these three structures anterior commissure lamina terminalis and optic chiasma they are also known as the preoptic area inferior to the optic chiasma where there we have the area of tuber synarium which give rise to the stalk of the pituitary gland or the infundibulum and this is the pituitary gland which is located in the hypophyseal fossa just behind this prominence is the mammillary bodies so these are the mammillary bodies optic chiasma infundibulum and the pituitary gland all these structures they are found in the relationship of the interpeduncular fossa as well the third component of the diencephalon is the subthalamus which is present just beneath the thalamus and above the midbrain so this is the site of the subthalamus posterior to the thalamus this is the region of the epithalamus this obvious prominence is the pineal body with its stalk and two commissures superior and inferior this superior commissure is the habenular commissure because it goes to the habenular nuclei the inferior one is the posterior commissure so the pineal body with its two commissures habenular commissure and the posterior commissure this is the site of habenular nuclei pineal body and habenular nuclei collectively they become the epithalamus we need to understand two afferent pathways of this habenular nuclei one is the fornix and the other one is the stria medullaris thalami which is highlighted in white color bundle of fibers in the form of fornix carries afferent information from hippocampus to the habenular nuclei while stria medullaris thalami carries the information from amygdaloid nucleus of temporal lobe to the habenular nuclei other structures that we need to appreciate in this view are corpus callosum septum pellucidum this is fox cerebrae this is for this is the cut section of the cerebellum this is the cut section of the midbrain pons and the medulla these are the sphenoidal sinuses we can also see here the third ventricle which is continued here with the cerebral aqueduct of the midbrain which continues with the fourth ventricle and inferiorly this leads into the central canal of the medulla which ultimately continues with the central canal of the spinal cord 